Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be getting ready together. I wanna do a pop of color with some graphic liner. You guys know I love doing these little really basic pops of color. They're usually just like two, three eyeshadows, super simple, but today I wanted to kind of add a little spin to it and do some graphic liner. I've never done this before on camera and I've recently have been seeing it all around TikTok, Instagram, there's different YouTube videos. When I was looking up how to perfect graphic liner, I mean, these videos go way back. This is definitely not like a new technique or anything, but I think it's just a fun way to switch it up, especially if you're doing a pop of color. It just kind of makes your look look super extra, but really it's just a little graphic liner moment. So I wanna practice and try to perfect this. So I figured the best way to do this is on camera with you guys. So that is the plan for today's video. Make sure you grab a snack. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel for three new videos every single week. So get cozy, either grab a snack or grab your makeup and let's have some girl time and get ready together. Okay, so I am gonna show everything from start to finish, even though I use the same exact brow products a lot of you guys like to see like the full face so your wish is my command so of course I'm gonna use my NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black just to outline my brows I'm curious if any of you guys have like your go-to kind of staple bra products that you're loving. Let me know because I just get so stuck in my ways with all of my makeup to be honest, but especially with brow products, it's just one of those things where I don't really test out a ton of new brow products. That's probably like the category that I rarely test out. You know what I mean? Like I just kind of stick to what I know and what works for me. So if you guys have any must have bra products, let me know. Of course, I'm gonna use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Black. Then to clean up the brows, I'm gonna use my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in a jar, and this one's in the shade Beige. This is really hard to find. If you guys watch my videos, you know, but you could always use like a stick foundation or just like a regular concealer and then just put it on the back of your hand, take a brush, and then you can fill in your brows that way. I really like this concealer because it is a little bit thicker than most, so it just makes the process a little bit easier. But again, you can use anything, and um, stick foundations work great for this as well. Makeup Revolution has one, ColourPop has a great one so there's a lot of good options and then I love to use my elf flawless concealer brush just to blend out that concealer this is the only brush that I use like consistently every single time I do my makeup it is the best brush I love it for this for blending out the concealer in the inner corners I also love it for blending out my eye primer it's just such a good brush I have a bunch of these in my collection okay brows are all done now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids I'm gonna use my NYX proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer so even though I'm only gonna use like two or three eyeshadows I still obviously want them to pop and last all day so I'm gonna go ahead and prime all over the lid I like to take this up to my brow bone and and I personally don't like to set my eye primer, but that's totally personal preference. I don't have very oily eyelids. If you do, I recommend maybe taking like a matte translucent powder or something like that just to set everything so that nothing slips and slides throughout the day. But I, like I said, I don't have oily lids. So usually I just wait for the primer to dry for like 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'll just go in with the eyeshadow, but it leaves a little bit of a tacky base. So your shadows stick really well. Today for eyeshadow palettes, I'm gonna use this one from Cara Beauty. So I actually found this palette at TJ Maxx a few months back. I got a really good deal on it and I featured this in a different pop of color. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I featured this in a different pop of color makeup look that I did, but I love this palette. It's so pretty, there's a ton of different colors in here and they actually have their own website which I will link down below so you can still get this palette but I love the color story in here this is a perfect palette for different pops of color today I'm gonna be using these shades right here so I'm gonna start off with the color crystal clear and then I'll probably add a little bit of this shade just to lighten it up this is the prettiest kind of like blue teal it's like an ocean color I don't know it's so pretty and I'm just gonna start basically packing that on on the lid like, look at how pretty that shade is. I'm in love. Whenever I do these pops of color, I find that my looks take less time versus doing like a traditional smoky eye. So that's why I really enjoy doing these looks because it looks more complicated than what it is, but they're actually really simple and it's like fun. This is literally my favorite way to wear color. I'm gonna build this color up.
Then I'm just using a clean blending brush just to blend out the edges and kind of diffuse the color up towards the crease a little bit. Then I'm gonna use the shade right next to it, which is a little bit lighter. It's like the same type of color. It's just a smidge lighter. And I'm gonna use that to lighten this up with that same brush, which by the way, I got in a random Amazon brush kit. I wanna do an updated video on my favorite like affordable makeup brushes, but I just need to find a brush kit that kind of has everything that I love because a lot of the brushes that I have, they're so like just miscellaneous. I've had them for years. Some of them are discontinued or they were limited edition. So I use all sorts of like random brushes. I definitely have like certain favorites, but I need to find like a brush kit that kind of has like the majority of the brushes that you would need for every day, you know? I love this. It's like the prettiest blue. I know I did a baby blue look before, but this is like totally different. This is kind of like a Tiffany's blue in a way. Honestly, that is pretty much it for the eyeshadow. The only thing I'm going to do later on is just do a little inner corner highlight, but for now that is it. So I'm going to do some winged liner and then we'll start with the graphic liner. I'm going to use a combination of two different liners that I love. So first I'm going to start with the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner just to do my winged liner. But to perfect the graphic liner, I am probably going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. So both of these are my drugstore favorites. I love them. So for me, the easiest way that I have found to do my winged winged liner is starting with the wing first and then kind of filling it in that way. Okay, so you could totally leave it like this. This is normally how I do all my pops of color. I just do like one or two colors on the lid, winged liner, lashes, and I'm good to go. But I'm gonna add some graphic liner today just to kind of switch it up a little bit. You wanna go in from here, basically like right, a little bit right above your crease. And then you just wanna kind of do the line and connect it to the end of your winged liner. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna just take a makeup wipe and kind of like clean this up here on the edges. But basically that is like the look that I'm kind of going for. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. I know it's not for everybody. You could, like I said, totally just leave it alone with just the winged liner, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I think this is fun. Um, it doesn't look perfect, but that's okay. And I don't want to try to like mess with it too much and try to perfect it too much because then it's going to get ruined. It's going to get thick and it's going to be a hot mess. So we're going to just leave it as is and we're going to move on to the rest of the eyes. I'm going to use my Essence Lash Princess. This is the false lash effect. This is my favorite lash princess. So I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara and of course prep them for lashes and today I'm gonna use the kiss max out lashes in the style love so I'm gonna pop these lashes on and then I'll see you in one second and we'll do the skin all right so eyes are all complete so I'm just gonna first prep the skin and I'm gonna use the always an optimist four in one mist from rare beauty so my skin is actually looking already pretty dewy. I was gonna use the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer because I really do love this one and it gives me so much dew. It's very hydrating, but I feel like I'm already like looking extra dewy. So I'm gonna skip out on that today and I'm just gonna jump straight into the Pore Diffusing Primer from Rare Beauty, which is another favorite. This is super smoothing. There's just something about this. I love the way my makeup lays on top and I love how smooth my skin looks whenever I put this on. Like it's one of those primers that you can actually like notice a difference. So I like to put this on my T-zone. It's also not drying, even though it's like a pore filling primer, because sometimes they can be a little bit drying, but this formula is so, so nice. For foundation, I'm gonna use one of my all-time favorites. This is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. I love this. This is only $5 and just so smooth and beautiful. This does have really nice coverage. It's super creamy too. I'm just gonna blend that in. It's so skin-like, but it has great coverage. So this is 
definitely one of the best affordable foundations. For concealer today, I'm gonna to use another one of my favorites. This was the Rare Beauty Concealer, and I have this one in 200C. I love how creamy but natural this concealer is. And to blend this out, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. You can just see like how instantly it blends and melts into the skin. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. I actually really love this palette. I haven't used it in a little bit, but I love these three shades. They're super creamy and blendable. And then for some cream blush, I'm gonna use this one from Milk Makeup in the shade Work. I wanna do like a rosy kind of pink lip. So I want the cheeks to match and this is like the perfect color. It gives you such a pretty wash of color too. Blending this upwards towards the bronzer. Okay, today for powder, I'm gonna go in with the Collab Set the Stage Soft Focus Translucent Finishing Powder. You guys know I love the black cap one, which I feel like the only difference between those two is that this one comes in one shade, like the translucent color, and then the black cap one comes in a couple different shades. But they're both great, super smoothing, natural setting powders. This will like forever be one of my favorites. So I'm gonna use this today to pretty much set my entire face. So I like to start with my under eyes. When you do this, you don't want your sponge to be like, obviously like drenched in water. You want it to be a slight damp and you can just see like how good this powder looks and I always love the way powder looks with a sponge versus with a brush under the eyes I just think it looks so smooth and this is always so satisfying doing the forehead If you have never set your makeup with a damp beauty sponge with a powder, try it. I'm telling you, it will look so good and so smooth on your skin. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face. For powder bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer. This is another one of my all-time favorite bronzers, and this is a nice matte shade. It's a little bit cool tone, but still a little bit warm, so it's a good like in-between shade. And I'm just doing this wherever I applied the cream bronzer. And then for blush, a current favorite of mine is the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Palette, the Volume 2 palette specifically. I love this little duo. It's beautiful. These are so smooth and buttery, very pigmented, but there's like no kickback. It's a really, really nice formula. Again, I'm just kind of applying this upwards. So skin is almost done. I'm just gonna do some highlighter and I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Baked Highlighting Trio. And this one is in Cruising the Coast. And I still love this highlighter. I actually found this in my collection and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to use it. It's such a smooth, very pretty, kind of like inner glow type highlighter, but still like a little bit wet on the skin. I like mixing all three shades and don't be fooled by this. It's very wearable and it's super pretty on the skin. So I'll show you guys like how stunning that glow is. I'm gonna finish up the eyes, but I'm gonna do lips first. For lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the Lip Bar Straight Love and Smudge Proof Lip Pencil. These are really, really good. Very smooth and creamy, and this is also a black owned business. I'm pretty sure they were on Shark Tank. I think they were, but they're amazing. They have great products. And then I'm gonna top that off with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. And then sticking with the rose kind of theme with the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Fawn Beauty Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Honey. I just featured these also in my last Shop My Stash video. These are a super lightweight, comfortable lip gloss. They give you the prettiest sheen. Like this is that color. It's very wet and juicy, but still like super lightweight. I love this color too. 
Now for the lower lashes, I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I normally just smudge the same color on the lower lash line, but I think for today, I'm just gonna do an inner corner highlight and do some black liner and mascara just to really bring everything together. So jumping back into this palette, I'm gonna take that shimmery teal color. The shade is in Ride the Wave. And I'm just gonna put that right in the inner corners. I'm gonna drag it a little bit towards the lower lashes, but just like the inner portion. And then I'm going to use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in Blackout on my waterline. And then I'm going to just coat the lower lashes. I normally never do this, like I'll never leave the lower lashes blank like this. But for today, I'm like, why not? And I did black on the waterline because I have obviously black winged liner, black graphic liner, so I think the black waterline liner kind of just really brings everything together. Also, side note, today I actually didn't use my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer because the collab powder I feel like gave me like just the perfect amount of brightness, and I don't really feel like I need a ton of brightness under my eyes. So the final thing that I'm going to do is just set my makeup, and again, I'm going to use the same Always an Optimist spray from Rare Beauty. So this is the completed look, and that is it for today's Get Ready With Me. I really love the way this turned out. Again, I know it's not for everybody and it's not perfect, but I still really like it. I think it's a fun twist to just traditional winged liner. So I encourage you guys to try it out. And what's really fun about graphic liner is that you can do different colored liners as well. You could do brown, you could do neon shades, you could really switch it up and do whatever. So yeah, do a pop of color, do some graphic liner and try it out for summer. So check the description box below for all the details if you are interested. And that is officially it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.